if you have got oily skin you can use our mattifying primer but I use the mattifying primer and the hydrating one even though I've got dry and combination skin because I love the way the mattifying primer smooths out my face even more for my application of my foundation so kabuki brush so you can pick any brush or any facial brush it doesn't have to be the kabuki brush but this is my favorite brush so we're going to use this we've used our mattifying primer we're now going to use a stick now with the stick guys this is a full coverage so less is more so what i do is i just do stripe 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 because you can always add to this rather than take it away and again all i do is get my mirror with my brow palette <laughs> and then we are just going to basically start to stipple or pat or you can do like circular motions if you have got dry skin and you've got flake you know flaky skin then pat it to basically spread it around guys but can you see the coverage on that already and then do that bit on the forehead as well so i would say less is more with our stick so build it up guys don't just smush it all on your face you know draw so because i've seen a lot of presenters um a lot of wife sisters basically rub it you know put so much on their face that they end up looking caked if you don't like that caked feel and i don't like that caked feel then build it up slowly you can always add another stripe here and there once you have done this but can you see the difference and i haven't covered that goodness yet because i need to put a little bit more on that because that is a goodness that's showing up but can you see from this cheek here to that cheek the difference and if you have got goodness like i've got get a little bit on your on your finger and then you can just pat that on your goodness like that get rid of it <laughs> so my number one favorite foundation is the liquid well no the spray foundation now it was the liquid spray foundation followed by the liquid foundation and then this is my second favorite um after them two but as i said the liquid foundation is a light to medium coverage the spray foundation is a full coverage, but it's very, very light. And then you have got this one, which is a full coverage, which is our stick foundation. And as you can see, it really does give you that flawless look, especially when you use the right um, skincare underneath you on your skin and you use a, the right primer your skin type as well so look at that so that's quite flawless and as i said if you have got a little bit more goodness just put a little bit more on your finger and just basically tap that in like that look at that now you can still see it just because it is raised when you get goodness on your face very rarely is it just a red spot it becomes a little bit of a raised spot so you can just see that slightly on my face but not as much as it was five seconds ago on that so this is a cream again it's a cream but once you once you've got it in place it dries to a matte finish guys now you can set it with setting powder if you want which we will do in a sec what we're going to so just use it like you would a blusher and then we are just going to basically pat this on where we want to highlight or have a bit more definition in our color so we can sort of like chisel out our cheekbones and if you like me and you've got lots of chins, you can put a little bit under there as well. And then we will blend that out. Because I'm going to use the Kabuki brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit there on my... Whoop. Not so much of that. <laughs> that was a little bit too much, but we'll blend that out. 
so that is just way of lazy contouring so like a three and an e just a little bit like that and then what i'm going to do is close this up and because i love my kabuki brush my kabuki brush so much i am now going to use this and i'm basically just going to swirl around in circular motions up and back and i'm just basically going to blend that powder foundation which is a pressed powder not a loose powder one in so we're just going to basically blur that out so that you don't see you can't see the lines but you can see the color definition and that gives me a little bit more of a radiant look I'm going to do my forehead go back into my foreline and then just swoop back on the forwards now if you've got a very large forehead then you can bring it down I do this same simply because I don't have a fringe if you have a fringe and obviously you don't need to go as mad on your forehead but can you see how that just gives me a more of a healthier look than a washout look so if you can see that and you're watching now then give me a thumbs up or heart so that I know that you know roughly what I'm, what I'm trying to say if you understand what I'm saying because when you use a good foundation guys a good foundation is one shade and when you have one shade you have no definition in your face now I've bronzed up using a powder foundation now later on you can put a little bit more you can put a little bit of blusher on as well if you want to I'm not a blusher girl so I tend not to wear a lot of blushes but I like to bronze so that's how I like to roll so that basically that is my face now done then you can get your translucent setting powder and a big fluffy brush and just a little bit and you can basically pat that on just to set your foundation so if you're anywhere where it's very warm so if you're working in an office that's too warm for you then set your foundation guys and then it's not going to go anywhere when you get hot under the collar and also it helps to blur out again those fine lines if you have any but you can do this with our BB cream and do it with any of our foundation you don't need a lot and it's translucent so it's not changing the color it is just basically setting your powder like that Isn't that good so as I said you can say that as you know if you bought the beauty box you know that all your purchases 10% of everything that you buy through your um, beauty box or that you purchase from me guys is helping survivors of child adolescent sexual abuse which is brilliant okay let's get some eyebrows on so I'm just using my brow palette palette arc so you can actually have a look I'm just putting my eyebrows on like so <sighs> I don't know I think I go live at all different times and I always seem to get harassed <laughs> on my lives by some of the eyebrow at the door or something but uh... now as I said we are going to use I'm out of breath <laughs> these two colors so we've got earthy and optimistic so ignore these ones well you can ignore them but you can ask me what they are if you want to but we're just going to use these two so we're going to go on with my fluffy crease brush and we are going to pick up earthy and then we are going to basically work this on this outer edge of my eyelid so this is earthy now earthy is a I think it's like a pecan type brownie color it's absolutely gorgeous I love it so if you're like me and you like the bronze and the browns then you're gonna like this one so we're just gonna work this round on my eyelid in my transition and my crease 
we're only using the two colours as you see them. Like that. And then do the other side as well. So as I said, have a play with makeup. Because it's all good fun playing around with makeup. Getting finding what colours suit you and trying different things. I love it. But as I said, if you want to join me guys and get your beauty box and you want to do what I do, because it's not just you know having a business for yourself, it's also having um a sisterhood to help build your confidence and you know and you know discover yourself because sometimes we do lose ourselves and I absolutely love this playing with makeup knowing that I'm helping ladies like yourself find the right shades and things look at that isn't that gorgeous so you can see I've just put that on quite quick and easy with hardly any effort just basically one colour which is earthy like so isn't that gorgeous and then what you can do is you can just go a little bit darker pick a bit more up and this time I'm not going to blend so much I'm just going to basically put a little bit there darker in the corners like so Like that and then when you've got that on if you want to tidy up your edges if you feel you've gone a little bit rogue you can tidy it up and get your fluffy brush hold it right at the end and then you can just gently backwards and forwards not very much and just blend that very edge so that you blend that in so basically that looks like two colours there when it's only one. And then I'm just going to get another brush and I'm going to pick up Optimistic, which is an ivory metallic. And I'm just going to place that on the inner corner and centre of my eyelid like that. As you can see, that is just highlighting that inner corner. Now I'm patting it on because it is a metallic, and you do get some fallout with these metallics if you rub them. So pat them. If you want them not to fall out even more then damp your brush with some um, rose water or water or even setting spray if you want and then I'm just going to get earthy again a little bit of earthy and I'm basically just going to darken this up again but this time I'm going up and over because I just want to blend them in a little bit more like so it ties them together like that what do you think do you like that as i said if you like this guys give me a thumbs up give me a heart let me know that you like what you see because i do love i do love getting feedback it really does make it worthwhile but as i said i love the interaction with you guys because it's all good sorry about that got interrupted again <laughs> So we are just going to work that over again like that. Okay. So you can see we've got the lighter bit and then we've got the darker shade. And again, you can just get your fluffy crease brush and then you can just 
basically swoop I haven't got anything else on this brush I haven't put anything else on there I'm just using what is on the brush basically just to go over the top just to tie it all in like that doesn't that look nice okay so mascara 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 <laughs> what do we use epic 4d or the new epic twisted anybody got a preference on what they want to see give you a few seconds if you'd like to mention what you want to see if not i'm going to go on with my with the twisted because i love the twisted <laughs> anybody 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 give me a suggestion which mascara to use but look at that eye color guys isn't that gorgeous that is so lovely i love that so let's say quick recap while we wait to see if anyone says about what mascara we're going to use so the trio today stick foundation mattifying face primer and my kabuki brush trio 26 percent saving guys so let me know just leave that to one side any takers nope okay we're gonna go on with the twisted then because obviously i could be sitting here all day waiting for somebody to say yes which one right so we're going to use the twisted this one came out um 18th of september and I love this. So I'm going to use the small one first because I want to catch every single lash I got. So this has two ones, guys. This is the first one that's at the top. So you can see that's really, really tiny. Let me just come in a bit. I think because I've put because I've got pores. That's it. So now again, right. So you've got the tiny one. See that's really diddy. And then you have got the molded um wand, which has Zoom in, there you go all those little teeth which is going to act like a lash comb and comb your lashes for you so we are just going to get the little one out and we are going to go over my little lashes first with the because i have such tiny lashes i'm just going to use this one i have forgot to put primer on oh dear Oh well, we'll do one eye with primer, one eye without, because I forgot the primer. But you can see how this little brush, or this little wand, picks up all my lashes. Look at that. Can you see that? This little wand is my number one favorite because it has it's so diddy if you like me with the itty bitty lash department guys you are going to want this wand because it picks up all your itty bitty lashes Look at that can you see that <laughs> and then get your second wand as i said it's got those bristles so pull it out to go i love that sound and you don't need to wipe this off because it comes out with the right amount of mascara every time and then you can just basically use this to comb through those lashes Watch that. look at that can you see the difference well since I'm not going to be wearing this too long I won't worry about the lash primer today so you should use the lash primer because we should always condition and protect our lashes guys but I'm just going to go on with the other eye now to show you because look at that I love it so again, I'm just going to go in with this wand and find every single lash that I have got. Now you can go big wand, little wand, big wand. Or in my case, you can go little wand, big wand, little wand. It's entirely up to you 
which of these ones you want to use first. There's no rule, not in my book anyway. You use what's good for your lashes. All I would say is when you do your mascara, unlike me because I'm chatting to you guys, is take your time. Now if you've tried our original Epic, this is the same formula as our original Epic guys. It's just the ones that are different in our Twisted. Because you have got the two wand application and the little wand that is going to find every lash right up into those corners that you didn't even know you had. You can make your lashes longer and you can be totally buildable with this one. This one is basically a buildable I'd say almost like our 4D guys obviously you're not going to get as long or as um, thick as you would with our 4D but you are going to build your lashes up but the good thing about it is if you have tried our 4D and you couldn't get on with it because of the fibres then you're going to love this one guys because there is no fibres there is no fibres in this one see it is just totally buildable and it gives you wispier lashes because this silicon tool this one this silicon wand with those teeth are positioned so good that they are lifting and separating your lashes like so and then you can use that wand as well if you want to just to cut give your bottom lashes that separation as well if you like that like so now as i said our epic twisted this this is, I'm not going to lie, this is my favourite mascara. I love the Epic and I love the 4D because I got the 4D when I joined last year and I love the 4D. I love the way how the 4D gave me that thicker, longer eyelashes. But to be honest now, guys, this is my favourite out of all our mascaras because you saw how easy that was. I don't need a lash comb because you know if you saw me before how I used to use a lash comb because I comb my lashes. I know I haven't put primer on, so I'm a bit naughty because I haven't put primer on. So you always lose your lash primer. That's your lash primer that's going to nourish, condition and protect. You're probably thinking, why do you need a lash primer? It's like conditioning your hair. Why do you condition your hair when you shampoo it? Because you know that it's going to protect your hair, condition your hair, so that when you blow dry your hair or anything else, you are protecting your hair. This is the same for our lashes, guys. If you wear mascara every day, you want to protect your lashes, so therefore you should prime before you put your, your lash um, mascara on. I will smack myself because I forgot, <laughs> because I was just so excited about showing you this one. But I am going to come in closer, because I want to show you my lashes. I'm going to look down, I'm going to look to the side. Can you see the length? of my lashes guys now i am in the itty bitty lash department this is the only thing that's tiny on me guys is my lashes so if you want your lashes to look like this or even better than mine if you've got longer lashes than me to start with then get yourself the twisted because it's amazing look at that so what with those colors so those two colors guys those two colors and the new twisted and they're not gorgeous and then we're just going to finish it off with 
subtle which is just like a nude lipstick but it is a nude lipstick this is a splash which is a cream or liquid whichever liquid liquid look doesn't run out But when it dries, it goes to a matte finish. And these really do stay on a long time, guys. I've eaten, drink, had to drink, eaten, and I've not had to touch these up. So that is my tie look for today, guys. So if you've enjoyed this and you've never watched me before, then please like my page. And if you want to send me a friend's request, please do. And if you can sprinkle this around, share this video around, please do so, guys, because I really do appreciate it. But as I said, look at those eyelashes, guys. If you watched me from the beginning, you saw how tiny my lashes were. And they're not clumped because our twisted mascara separates my lashes. So you can see when I look up how wispy they are so if you want to try our twisted then let us know guys so that is my life for today guys thank you very much for watching me as i said and our stick foundation with our kabuki brush as i said you can choose any of our foundations guys ever which happens to be my birthday month as well um which is next week but um yeah but as i said the main focus guys is if you want a flawless look you need to start looking after your skin and if you are like me and you want to hold back those wrinkles and hold back time then you need to get your hands on our anti-aging and anti and our brightening serum guys our targeted eye cream because it helps to reduce the fine lines the puffiness i've got no hardly any bags anymore than what i used to and i don't sleep guys and yet this is giving me that gorgeous look so if you agree with me that I look nowhere near my age, have a guess at my age if you don't know me. Put down in the comments, if you have not seen me before, what you think my age is. And I'll tell you whether you're close or way out of mark. Let me know. I challenge you to guess my age if you don't know me. If you're new to my lives, then guess, guess my age. Because I think you'll be shocked. Right, so I am now going to love you and leave you on that note. And I will see you tomorrow. I come live every day, guys. So if you want to catch me live, if you've missed this and you're watching this on the replay and you have, you've missed me live, press anywhere on the screen, guys. Make sure notifications is on. And then when I come live, you'll get notified so you can come and watch me live. And then you can come and interact with me because I'd love that. So go and enjoy the rest of And I will see you tomorrow. But any questions about skincare, makeup, beauty box, just hit me with your questions, guys, and I will answer them. So all take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.